She just brings that light that I can't bring. He kind of makes me more logical and more motivated. You're listening to Opposites Attract with J&D. Stay tuned for... Shut up. You don't know my life. I'm passionate about parking. Bill Gates is cute. Episode 17. (laughs) Action. Hey, guys. (laughs) Sorry we missed last episode. I was sick. I'm still sick. We also had something to do that weekend, too, that we were busy, so we couldn't get no, recording. No, but I was sick, and I was bedridden. I, was, I, thought, I, had you bronch- <laughs> I thought I had bronchitis, but I think it's just a common flu. I call it cold. cold. <laughs> you know how people Not are. <laughs> they get sick, and they're like, ah, oh, shit, I have cancer. <laughs> That's well, you look on WebMD. WebMD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you're like, shoot. <laughs> also, we were going to miss today's episode because Taylor's mom broke her elbow. Well, And I know you guys are elbow. like, I don't care that you broke your elbow. <laughs> If you ever watched Fine, you would know what that meant. No, she almost broke her elbow. She slipped and fell on the tile, hit her elbow, and had to go to an urgent care. But she's all right for everybody listening. She's good, so we didn't have to miss this episode today. So I'm glad we get to sit down and talk to you guys. I've actually Look missed you guys. That's, Isn't that interesting? That's I, just so cool. To Pe- be honest. <laughs> people are outside of the podcast are sacrificing. For the podcast. For th- just Can we take a minute? Mm-mm-mm. But actually, though, I actually have missed like recording and talking to you guys, even though I don't know really who's listening out there. But I know we have a couple. I fans. was I was kind of lazy just to set everything <laughs> up here, all the lights, <laughs> the wires. But then now I'm sitting here; it's kind of nostalgic. So it is. Yeah, it's good to be back. It is good to be back. Anyway, uh, today we're gonna be talking about college, and um, Taylor doesn't really. She's not vibing with, not vibing, but you kind of don't understand where I want to take it. Yeah, I'm, I, I want, sh- he has not talked to me much about what he wants to say. Yeah, so. but um, I just wanted to, I kind of just wanted to rant with you about college, yeah. whatever you, whatever you like. I'd rather what you, since you're the kind of the person, the more educated. <laughs> you're educated. You thrive to be more educated yes. and I thrive more to find, you know, opportunity. Mm-hmm. Um, so you can kind of speak on that, on that, on that side. Um while we talk on college. But I, I, I almost want to do this as a precursor uh, before we do, like, a segment of college. You know, I mean, after, after you get... Through c- the initial college. Yeah, because I feel... It, when, when when you get through college, like, the first two years, it's, like, four... It's actually, like, more than four years of high school. Because for us, we're on the quarter system. Every quarter, which is three months, is a whole year of high school. So it feels like you go through so much, and you can experience things much faster than you can in high school so i kind of agree with that we do semesters for that. we do semesters at my school though so i mean but i get that because like every semester you feel like you've been there for a long time like yeah really getting you know whatever then you switch kind of like you switch years but it's just cut in isn't half. it um at high school it's like it's, it's a semester system right so do we have finals on at the end of the semester or is it at the end of the year we have finals at high school at the end of the year, uh, finals in high school is at the end of the year. Okay. Yes, that's, that's what I'm saying. There's like midterms, t- kind of like midterm tests that usually everybody does tests on towards like the the half of the like towards December or whatever. But in high school, in high school, college yeah. has that too. Yeah. But yeah. you know, finals. It's like when, when people are like complaining and like <laughs> pretending to die. <laughs> in college or high school? In, in college, I was always in high school. I was like, dude. It's just a final, man. Like, mm-hmm. chill out. But now, yeah. Now, now you're now getting, yeah. to, getting to college and you're like, now oh, my God. Makes sense. <laughs> Thinking about finals week is, makes me so stressed. Even midterms, I'm like, oh. I've, d- I've done exceedingly well considering the, the type Cons- of the brain that I have. Considering, well, no, just considering how you were not as dedicated in high school and mm-hmm. you, like, in your grades were lower to now, you're, like, it usually it goes opposite people's grades ch- dip in college from high school, but he's flipped. He's the opposite. Yeah, so I think I had cool. a 1.8 GPA. At one point, yeah. No. No, you have... Cumulative. Have, no, you can't have that or else you wouldn't have graduated. You sure? It's 2.8, I remember. Oh, that's not that bad. <laughs> I'll take it, damn it. <laughs> you can't graduate with a 1.8, I don't think. I feel like it's lower. No, you can graduate thanks to Bush. No child left behind. (laughs) I think that's what it is. Yeah, they just put you in like a lower class where you can just exceed there. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. Well, in some states it's different. But yeah, that's before I go on the rant on how much college sucks and how it's like (laughs) such a terrible. And I try to defend in my side here. (laughs) Um, You, I'm not gonna like say anything good about college because I don't really find too much good. 
but um, I, I did. I'm doing really well, and it's and it's pretty cool because no matter how the teacher teaches, you can find your own learning style because it's based on you. Mm -hmm. There's a reason we only have three classes. I don't know how many classes you have. I have four. You have four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, well, I, I will have five, but it's a dance class, so it doesn't really count. You have that many classes. How many credits do you get per class? Uh, well, not very many. It's you like I might all. It'd be thirteen credits this semester okay that makes sense yeah because i only need like 120 how many classes do you end up taking after the whole year like eight or nine depending yeah. on how many yeah. credits you See, take because some because some people take like i take nine like 17 credits i take nine per but, semester. and my scholarship doesn't allow me to yeah i have a scholarship i was retarded but <laughs> it's because i'm foreign you weren't retarded look white people oh my god <laughs> But you are white. <laughs> We're not gonna make this explicit because I just whispered that. <laughs> you are. It's so. already. You said. You said shit earlier, so it's already explicit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, anybody. But yeah, <laughs> I had my scholarship, and they only allowed me to take the 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 usual amount of classes. They won't allow me to go extra. But I guess it kind of works out. But I I like the way. Anyway. Anyways, that's besides. You the could point. really. You could. Since you t for me, I'm on the quarter system. Since you take a, such a small amount of classes. Your professors expect you to do, I think, two to four hours extra after a, your day of school. So that means, like, studying, reading extra. I mean, and... Yeah, right. That's not that, going to happen. That's what my professors expected of me, like, all the time. Really? Yeah, they're like, you can't get an A if you're not putting four hours extra in. Seriously? After. Yeah. That's so stupid. I got away with it in Econ um, 101. I, um... I studied really hard, but I didn't have a, the book. So all I did was just ask people for their book, and I kind of just like would summarize what I kind of learned, and then just, and then and then I would just read after her lectures, and then take and then study my notes, and mm -hmm. yeah, behold, I have an A. But I'm taking her again, uh, Econ 201, so. which is going to be a lot harder. But I think colleges, especially on my mind lately, just because we just started, especially him, he started this past Wednesday. So he's just fresh, but I'm at like two and a half weeks in, so I'm kind of used to the classes and where to go and I'm all used that to stuff. It. Well, I know. I just mean like I have a groove of like how I do things now. And, and I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, me too. No, you don't. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put words in your mouth. You don't have a groove. <laughs> I'm not one of those kids who gets nervous for the first day of school. No, I didn't get nervous. I just mean like. I know, but what I'm saying routine. is like I get used to that routine really quick. No. Oh. Because it's I'm used to it. It's maybe you, I don't get used if to it. If you do it every day for a whole year, you can just come back to it after after three. Well, months. I think it's because you have the same classes every day. I have Monday, no, I Wednesday, don't. Friday. Well, you have like one class I on Monday that's different. Yeah, that's an extra two hours, of, which I haven't. Done well, yeah, yet. but that's the only class that's different all the whole week. I and have Monday, Wednesday, we, Friday is the same, and Tuesday, that's Thursdays. That's not true. We have labs on, on in my third class. Okay, what, labs for what class? For my computer literacy class. You have labs. That's so dumb. So, <laughs> shut up. You don't know my life. You don't know I me. Do, I do know you and your life, actually. No, you don't. <laughs> Anyways, it's on our mind especially, but he, babe, tell us what you're talking about. What anger you have towards college. I want to hear this from you. I've heard some of it what, a little what, bit already. What, what but anger? You, you're the one who wanted to talk about you this. You have so. anger. Everyone who goes have, to okay, college. Right, right, right. But you start. No, you I'm start serious. With, like, start just, with your anger. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm trying to say. Everyone who goes to college, you have to, you get this book, and then your professor's like, oh, yeah, by the way, we have two books this freaking quarter. <laughs> Most of my classes had two books, and you go on Amazon or you go, fuck Amazon. Mm -hmm. We're going to take over the world. Mm -hmm. Also, guys, let me. <laughs> I'm so annoyed at this mic thing. It sucks. I'm going to go like this. Does this look weird? I can't see your mouth move, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do like this. It's better. Yeah, I can. That's better. Uh, um, but, uh, I, I mean, I freaking dropped just 200 bucks a couple, couple of days ago, and that's just buying half of my books. That's only half? Yeah, and I have to uh, I have to buy this. In my computer literacy, literacy course, we have to have this access code, and you can it's get... such a scam. Ugh. It's such a, exactly. It's 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 like professors are supposed to teach, but then they buy these things to help them teach. It's like what I'm paying tuition for for this fucker to make me buy. Makes Books. no like, sense. Like I feel like if you have if you're paying 
like at the school I go to, it's a little bit more expensive than <laughs> like the school he goes to. It's five times more. Expensive. Okay, yes, it's very much more expensive to go to. But I feel like if, especially since I'm going to a college like that, we should have our books paid for just in tuition and parking and parking. I don't and like what is this? It's like, parking. It's parking. It's it's roads. That Especially have, parking. Yeah, that's one thing I've never understood. Like public roads. Why do you pay f- to to park there? Okay, but even still, like I'm paying to park at. Wi- that's at different because it, it's. Uh, I mean, it's not different because tuition. Tuition should, should cover that, but it's I. Concrete. I've literally been doing the system this entire like couple weeks because I'm tr- I'm like really trying not to pay for parking I've, at I've all. i taught her well. So I'm like moving my car to different parking lots just she, so I don't have to pay. Yeah, she's like that white girl <laughs> So I don't get school. the tickets. I'm like, screw that. I'm not going to pay. Like, this is dumb. So I'm paying a lot anyway where my parents do you like are. The, do you like the way um, you sound when you talk? What is that supposed to mean? You you just went on a tangent there. I did. I was upset. I'm passionate about parking. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, so they make you, you know, pay for your textbooks, and, and of course your textbooks are scamming you. I mean, it's it's hard to blame colleges because I don't know if you knew this, but textbooks actually, they're, I think, wh- I, I don't know what law, but they are required to law by to take on these textbooks. Mm-hmm. And some... some really? There, yeah, there's actually some publishers that um, they just write ramble jamble. I don't know what that means to you, but it means bullshit. <laughs> They write these research uh, books with no evidence data. A lot of them have no sources. And, of course, they're that classic. Remember in 2016 when everyone was like, allegation this, an allegation this, mm-hmm. or this person did that. And mm-hmm. then everyone, after, after they get Facebook, they just start, like, protesting. Mm. These are the same people who advocated for that that same BS. But, but the law kind of states that these people um, – not these people. The colleges have to buy their books and their research. Really? Yeah, and same. You have to buy the books by law in college. The libraries have to. The the. Oh, what the, the heck? Yeah, yeah. I had no idea. They, um, but that makes sense. It doesn't make sense. No, I mean it makes sense. Why? No, I, I'm trying to. I I lost yeah. my train of thought. And, and a lot <laughs> of the times, the publishers. I don't know if they pay. See, it's kind of like the same thing with prescription drugs. Like they'll pay the doctor. Like you know, if you do this. If you prescribe this many times, we'll we'll give you this. There's always incentives and stuff. So they did the same thing, professors. But my prof- my 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 econ professor, she's in, she's an economist. Wait, what? Economist. The? Economist. Yeah. So she's always that like, right? she's like, I'm always trying to. That's what I'm <laughs> she's like, I'm always trying to save us money. And she's like, I looked at the 20th edition and the 21st edition. She's like, there's no difference. There's like no difference. The only difference is the diff- like the, the examples that they use. Oh. So uh, I mean, if you think about it, those people make stupid the, the amount of money. People? Yes. Yeah. That's and true. colleges are forced to buy those. The 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 bookstore. Well, one of my classes doesn't have a textbook. He's like, no, I'm not going to make you guys pay for a textbook. That's dumb. So you guys don't have to pay for textbook, but you just have to print out your readings and bring them into class. Yeah. So that's all. That yeah. We if have was, to do, which is easy. If I was a professor, uh, there's um the the textbook people, whatever they they give um a free version to the the teachers or the professors yeah some people put them online like on blackboard or something i would upload it and upload them and like that is so much like like i might not be paying for all my textbooks or but there's people out there that pay for your text like you pay for your textbooks and stuff like that's expensive money like no it's 200 bucks a book it's so expensive it's ridiculous like yeah. If college is already expensive, why are we paying money to buy textbooks that are like super expensive that right. we're not going to use again, except for that class? No, college it's is just, like it's one BS. of the it's like, the biggest scams. If I wanted to mention this a little bit later, but the biggest debt in the United States is college at something trillion, at and then after trillion. that, Facts. and then <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sourced <laughs> by these microphones. <laughs> you heard it here first. Yes. Uh, and the and the second biggest debt is mortgage i mean your house mm. it's like wait what it's like houses are like average two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. how are how is that the biggest and and i think the biggest scam is no offense to all those people who are getting art majors or like <laughs> like the study of lesbian dance theory what <laughs> there's a thing like that no yeah a major? Oh, they'll do anything, babe. They'll they'll make a major about chairs. It, oh, it's God. it's to get you in, really. It's if if colleges were forced to get like only um, have a cap of how much money they can get, 
they would only pump out the STEM courses, right? Not only STEM. The the ones that are like the science, like the the engineering, social, architecture. Social yeah, none of this art major shit. Like, well, okay. No offense to, to play, those art no, to majors. To play devil's advocate, I do know somebody who's double majoring in psych and art, and she's going to do art therapy as her career. So, like, I can see where, like, using that yeah, would be helpful. Yeah, but without psych, that would be But without be psych, as an art major, there's not much options out there. And that's why people – like, one thing that I will say is that I hate that college is, like, this idea, idealized, like, you have to go to college in order to be successful. Mm-hmm. Like, at one point in time, like, in our parents' time, that was, like, quote-unquote, where you – like, that is how you were supposed to be. Like, if you wanted to be a doctor – like, my mom was telling me how she grew up in, like, a society in her age where if you you had to you had to grow up and be these, like, doctors or be kind of higher up. So college yeah. is the only way to that step. And that still is to be fair, this the way. What, but how old is she? 56. 56. So about that time. Yeah. 80s? Was she in college around the 80s? Mm, 70s. Okay. Late 70s. All right, yeah. Per, no, okay. Early 70s, I re- that generation was, if you went to college, you were the, the highest paid. Yes, So yes. if you got a job, you were the highest paid person. People coming people. out of college. Ever since early 70s, late 60s, that has been falling like a fucking train. But I, Trains fall. Sorry, keep going. <clears throat> yeah, I should go to college. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's too funny. Stupid. All right, guys. You know what? It's just, just falling. It's just been, sound like he's an idiot. saying that it's it, falling no, a lot. To be fair, I I just never read books because my parents they condition my brain to think that books is like torture. What? So, yeah. Well, because every time I, I wanted, love books. Every time I wanted to play video games or watch TV, I would have to read before you read a times two amount of the amount you wanted to play. Exactly. See, I don't like that kind of like because then it makes like you think logically that, that makes sense, but it doesn't because in psychology you will learn that anything that you have to do as a punishment before you can get your yeah reward. it's it's yeah it's it, you you consider that as a punishment right mm-hmm. it's like work you have to you know it's a task and like I loved reading because when I was a kid my parents always read to me we re- he, they no taught same me. here they were they were with me they they gave me books and and encouraged yeah. me to read but didn't force me same here we have a freaking library remember that at my old house not anymore because it was yeah, just so big yeah you had so many books we went through that before when you were yeah reading. we had oh tons gosh, so of books. Many books and those are all books that I was reading when I was a kid but now I just I've condi- my my brain has been conditioned that I just can't plus I kind of have ADHD. Uh, so it's kind of hard to focus. <laughs> so I guess maybe that's also part of it, but yeah. Anyway, continuing back on to the college thing, I I forgot what year, but I think at a point it was probably at around the same time in the sixties, I think, or seventies. You would have been, you were able to go to Harvard for ten thousand dollars. Yeah, that's really cheap. And so and the textbooks they were also cheap, right? They were yeah. just book prices, like the. Price of Apparently, program. college prices increase every year. Like, there's some. Oh, yeah. like, I got a bill from Whitworth, and um, and we like it said that we're going to be increasing a certain percentage in tuition, and I was they, like, "What the frick? Really? That's already so expensive." I think I think um, from the same time that I'm talking about, homes have increased by five times in price, right, in value, and colleges I think have increased by thirty times. Jeez. Ugh. And same thing with textbooks. They, I think textbooks even more. Like, I don't understand that. Like, I'm not one that's going to say free college for everyone. You know, that's not my view. But my view is why are we – because there's some people that believe that having free college yeah. is what we should be doing. But I don't agree with that. I do agree, though, that the prices are ex- astronomically high for no reason. Yeah. Like, they – like I get it, you have to pay the professors, and there's fees and there's stuff, but like yeah, but professors only getting paid like eighty thousand dollars. Professors aren't a year. getting that, that paid that much, or like compared to how much you get. Like so many students, so well, think about it. You've got ten thousand students in in one college. I don't know how many. That's it. That's how low. Much, how many do you have? I don't know. <laughs> it's well, not let's a lot. Let's say about mine. Yours ten thousand at fifteen thousand dollars a year, year tuition, four like, times, and if people fail classes, that's more time. So that's it. Millions of dollars. Well, what is it? 15 times 10 is 150, 150 so 150 million 150 million or so and it's like give a or year a, well yeah i guess <laughs> so wow 
that's a lot of money. Like, why are they getting so much? Like, who's? I just want to know who, where all that money is going if it's not going directly into no, the school it's profit. Because uh, see, my people think that my university is public, but actually, fifty. T- it, it is actually by um, public records. It's private, but technically, it's not private because also in the record, it's fifty-two percent privatized. Hmm. There is someone owning and someone pumping. <laughs> pumping money into the college. Hmm. So it's a business. I mean I mean college is a business, but it it's just so like there's so many people that well that's the thing. My dad just like I think he just finished paying off his student just? student loans. And this is and he went to medical like, school. So yeah, he's, he's making like two fifty something like that a year. At so minimum. it's like so he's just finishing up his student loans unless it maybe uh, and it's like And there's that's interest so on that stuff much, too. Yeah. And it's like, dude, <laughs> how are, that's the thing. If back in the day, paying for college got you where you needed to be. So like my parents, they went to college and they're very educated and they're very successful. Yeah. But nowadays there's plenty of people that go to college for four years and then get out and not have anywhere to go. They don't and have nobody, a job. nobody gets jobs because they're like, you want experience. You need more than this. You need blah, blah, blah. And then so jobs are getting harder to find and college is getting more expensive. And it's like, why are we getting the output that we're with the input? So like. I'm scared that I'm not going to get a job like because mm-hmm. because I know that I want to I have to work my way up t- in in my field but I know that the only way I can get into where I want to be is go through college. Like, yeah, I can't, so that I makes can't sense. avoid the system. I have to go through it. That's something which is unfortunate. That's something I don't want people to read um I want I don't want people to have to read between the lines on this podcast. I really the reason this came into my mind is because I don't want People to not know where they're going and then just think that if they go to college, they'll know where they're going. Right. Re- and I'm not saying that college is a bad thing. It's just sometimes you don't ha- – it's a misconception that you have to you have to go to college to be successful, and that is not true. And I think for the majority, for a long period of time, it was that going to college was success and was higher income. And usually – It was for like five years that lasted. Well, I mean, the highest, but I'm the saying, like, paid. for the average person, like, not everybody's an entrepreneur. Not everybody can, like, create their own, like, stuff or, like, create their own business. Business pe- Businessmen are the richest people in the world, okay? Business people are the richest people in the world. Mm. You don't see doctors being that as rich as, like, Bill Gates, okay? Which is unfortunate <laughs> because Bill doctors Gates do great, is great work. Bill Gates is cute. What? Bill Gates is cute compared to Jeff Bezos. Well, yeah, okay. But I was saying, Bezos did Bezos go to college? Is, yes. Bezos at what is what? Uh, well, well he was I think he was uh, in, in stocks at the time mm-hmm. he was um, he was the guy who would call you and ask if you wanted to buy stocks I think he was making oh. he's making two fifty thousand um, dollars a year I think that's what it was mm-hmm. and then he quit his job in like ninety four of course all of these things are they're they're rough rough estimate but mm-hmm. I think um, Amazon started at the same time the internet started in ninety six ninety seven but now he's making like. Three hundred fifty thousand a minute, or two hundred fifty thousand like a minute. He's making so much money, but I mean, here's the thing. I keep telling James to go, keep going, going through it because one, he's getting college for free. Oh, that's the only reason. I'm that's in the it. only reason he's really. I would involved. be working in construction or minimum something. wage. I would be doing something. Like I said, back to what I was saying. <laughs> I don't want you guys to read in between the lines. I believe that you find through you find what you need to be doing in life through hardship. A lot of people are in this victim victim state, and I am too, right? I blame my dad for my terrible childhood. <laughs> um, that makes what sense. <laughs> but at the same time, you, through those hardships, you realize what kind of character you yeah. you, you have. You realize what you like, what and you what don't. What your how calling you, is. How you got back. Like, if you think about in your life how you got out of the situation you got in, you learn something about yourself, and that just opens a door, and you just keep... And through these experiences, these doors will keep opening. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm doing. I feel inspired by my past experiences to go in a direction with my life. I feel like I'm called to do that. I feel like that's my purpose, and I'm gonna keep going with that until like, I find that it's not my purpose, or if something else leads me in a different direction. Like this podcast, I love this podcast. I'm yeah. very passionate about this podcast, and I. Who knows? Maybe we'll continue this for a long time. Maybe it becomes if really it's successful. You know. <laughs> Maybe it will become really successful on this podcast. Who knows? But so we could put like more time into it, more effort, yeah, make some pretty pictures. Yeah, I just think that a producer. Th- <sighs> we haven't had Mark. So long. I know, Mark. We miss you. Can you come back? Especially <laughs> on this episode, dude. We need some. We need fact I, checks. I can't check my. If phone. anybody wants to be an intern, 
please <laughs> contact us. Your name us. has to be Ian if you're going to be our intern, though. That's <laughs> our only requirement. No, please. Anybody want to be an intern, like, let us know. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. But, no, yeah, we. that's what I'm saying. As you feel called in a certain direction, and I feel like wherever that direction is, it depends on where you want to go. <laughs> Continue, don't. <laughs> it depends on where here. you want to go for, like, like, what direction you have to go in. So for me, I have to go through college to get to where I want to be mm-hmm. because that's wh- where I feel like I need to go. You yeah. know, I can't just go and be a psychologist and say, oh, I'm a psychologist, but I don't have any credentialing, no learning experience, no anything, and just say I'm a psychologist. That's just, that's stupid. Slow down, child. I am passionate, okay? You were running like a train. <laughs> that one made sense. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. Trains don't run. They drive? I don't know. Anyways. They track. <laughs> Anyways. But some people, they don't feel called to go to college. They feel like the Who's way... Who's called, man? No one's called. I am because I, I... Well, one, I love learning. Bro, you make your destiny through your opportunities. Yeah, well, I'm saying that I have the opportunity to learn from college what I can for there, my future. There you go. That's my point, man. And that's, wh- that's what I'm getting to. But for you, you may not think that college... I'm, I'm only can encouraging him, one, because it's free. Two, because I think it might be a good it's asset free. to have... Um, for so him, do you know what an asset is? An asset, like something that helps you, like a well, actually, yeah, I guess uh, education is an asset. It's your, an your asset. Brain, your brain is your biggest asset, you guys. You got to realize that. Yes, Taylor's right. I think even if you're not going to college, you should still educate yourself thoroughly. Oh no, I think I think it, the second you stop learning is the second you start deteriorating and dying. Oh yeah, I think that's that's not, if you think of if okay if you don't believe that, think about it. If if you are not exercising. You are telling your body you don't need your body. Mm-hmm. What does your body do? You're gonna look like one of those. I, I went. To, I was on. I was working Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 Yesterday. <laughs> I was gonna say yesterday, but it wasn't yesterday. It was two days ago, Saturday. Today's sun. Oh. Shh, don't tell <laughs> us. Okay, guys. Now you know. <laughs> it's Sunday. This ah, oh, this poor man. I'm. Uh, he did everything he could to get that price down, and never mind. But he was, oh, I felt, I I wanted to just be like, shake the man's hand and be like, you know what, Jim, I'm going to do this for free. Because the dude walked like, like, I don't know if you've ever seen old people walk, but, and his back is hunched over, his mouth can't even open to speak, like, he's so, when he speaks, he's so quiet. You know, when you don't hear what someone says, you're like, I was doing it the whole time, and and he's like, no, then he says it again, I just had no idea what he was saying, and then he, like, he tried picking up a tape measure for me, and it was just, (laughs) Mark uh, Mark and I were, (laughs) we were laughing at the same time, and we're like, oh, Jim, thank you. You know when like an old person does something just yeah. like t- terribly small, you kind of just thank them because they because like pretty like much broke their back to do yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm, 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 yeah. The point with is, with your brain, you you want to be reading, you want to exercise your, you want to exercise your brain. And some sometimes col- like I, I think just continue with that. college is a way you can exercise your brain. I no, feel yeah. like I feel like I'm learning a lot, and because I'm just trying to soak in as much as I possibly can, and even though. I hate that there's requirements that don't involve my major and that I have to do things that I don't want to do, which I think is another topic that we can See, move on to. you're I spending $100,000 extra it. on top of learning just but a bunch I'm of tr- random But the thing is that I'm trying to learn what I can from what I'm given. And there's a lot of things that I've learned that I do value and do yeah. hold that I think will is helpful for my life and even with my psychology career mm-hmm. eventually. I just think that... I have this stupid class. No offense to anybody that's from the class, but the stupid class that I have to freaking reproduce. You're telling the pirates? Yes, it's a class about pirates. And it's, like, interesting as far as a class, but she makes us do these map quizzes. I'm like, am I in fifth grade? Like, really? I'm in college. I do not need to be reproducing ancient maps. I'm in college. Okay, this is dumb. And I don't want to be doing that. Like, if you're going to test me, test me on something actually legit okay jeez taylor wants to be challenged no i just think that what is i just want it to be college to compared to high school what <laughs> no if that's loosens it that's okay maybe not i lied i'm wrong okay no i can't put it down well i can't a little bit <laughs> okay. college compared to high school is a lot more interesting learning in my opinion especially for somebody who likes to learn but 
that's not the only way you have to learn is through college. <laughs> I'm sorry. I cut he is distracting you know the th- shit out of me. You know what I feel like? You know how you can't fall asleep and you're just fucking twisting and rolling <laughs> around like you're a crocodile or something? I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> like you're a crocodile or yeah, something? Yeah, d- the death roll. That's what a crocodile does. It oh. like, grabs onto you and it just rolls you around until you suffocate from... All that weight right on you, pushing the oxygen out of your lungs. That's what college does to, like, your dad's wallet. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Anyway, guys, I really don't want to offend anyone. I mean, seriously, like, I don't care about people's feelings. I really don't. Okay. I will tell you, fuck off with your feelings, but you I'm not. You should care about their feelings for the most part, but not oversensitive. Anyways, continue. No, no, no. I, I just, I, that's, that's the thing. I just, I don't want to take away who I am and what I want to say right. because of someone's feelings. That's why I, that's why I'm saying that. Okay. But my intention has never to been hurt someone's feelings mm. unless I'm trying to hurt your feelings, which I'm not. Yeah, which you're, he's not. I'm only saying a lot of these art classes and communications is is a, not a good place to go from experience. I'm only 20 years old, but my parents are like 40, 50, almost 50. And they have a lot of friends, and a lot of the, my mom mostly. But she has, she has a decent amount of friends that are working minimum wage to fifteen dollars an hour with their nice bachelor, with their nice masters. They, like sh- they are doing jobs that they, you know, like this one guy. I mean, he even got a he. I think he did electric, electrical or something. He is twelve hours a day on the computer. Oh, His yeah. eyes are bloodshot. He's like, screw it. I got my CDL ri- license, and he's now a truck driver, and he loves it now. He he's making much more money, one point five times more money driving a damn truck. Yeah, and I think that's the problem. I think if you're going to a higher education, you should be getting higher salary and higher pay. And for some some but fields, schweit. 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 <laughs> what are you a Nazi? <laughs> a German? Shoot, I'm sorry, Germans. That was the past. It wasn't you. It was Hitler. I think there are some things. I think, oh man. Wait. <laughs> I can't even now. Shut up, dude. <laughs> There's if you're working hard, <laughs> if whether th- like if that's in college or not in college, you should be seeing results in your salary. And I really hope that yeah. th- that I think hey. that you should be seeing results in your career. Yo, if you guys are like these guys, they're only on a podcast, and that's their only source of income, which it's not. not. <laughs> this is voluntary, dude. In college, um, or once you get a job, you could negotiate. You can be like, hey, this is my resume. I've done this. I've done that. I've done this. I volunteered a year. I've smoked this. <laughs> I want this pay. And and say you're starting off $60,000 and you want seventy five. Just be like 100 And they'll be like, what? But they want you, right? Let, let, let's, let's do the scenario that they want you. Right. They don't negotiate that. They down. negotiate your. They're like, all right, fine. 80 They're like. And you're like sweet. You got you got five k extra. Yeah. It's not that easy. It's not that but easy. But you can negotiate an extra one thousand, extra five thousand dollars a year, and that adds up when you're paying taxes. And that's the thing is, that's a really good point. But you have to show the work ethic for it. And I think that Don't. if yes, you do. You have to show that you are worthy of. Well, that if you want to get another if, raise, so basically you have to work hard to get where you get. And that's why I think yeah. it's offensive when people go through four years of hard work in college because it's hard work. Okay, it's not easy work. It's hard. It's a lot of mind jumps and trying to figure out your homework and your testing and all this stuff, and you're constantly under stress. If you're working that hard and you don't get a job after that, then what the heck is this system for? Like, seriously. And, like, if – okay, here's the difference. How about this? You, I will gladly – I like learning, and but I don't like the homework and the tests and I stuff. I really like learning. But I don't want to be paying a shit ton of money – to go to college and not see the results in the mm. career that I want. I think that's bullshit. People I'm, don't that know. That makes me very angry. But the first two years of college, it's it's, it's high school. Yeah. Unnecessary crap. Yeah, I'm not really like that's, I don't vibe with that, but that's our biggest beef, right? Yeah. You don't you don't know what college has to offer as in where's the jobs? Is there jobs when I'm in lesbian dance theory? No. There's no. I doubt it. Maybe there is. Good for you if you have that job. <laughs> what is that job? I don't know. It, how much? But fine, I'll pay for textbooks. But why am I paying textbook for a class about pirates? That's two. Good thing only my cla- my textbook's only twenty bucks for that textbooks. class. It's actually a book book. It's not a textbook. Thank God. Textbooks are the ones that are expensive. I had book two books are really expensive. Books two hundred bucks or one eighty four. 
the other one's like one second. Each? Yeah. Ugh. And for two books it. and one class, and then I had to buy my econ book, but she allowed us to buy the twentieth edition, which was available for rent, because the older editions are available for rent. And I got that for twenty bucks. Mm. And then oh yeah, the access code I had to buy for my computer literacy yeah, that's class. That's another thing. What the heck? Well hold up. So you can get a ninety dollar version or you can get a hundred and thirty Hundred and forty hundred because it's one thirty nine. Mm. Hundred forty dollar version, and the only difference is that there's like an ebook where there's more learning of material. Material, yeah, material, and they don't they, they ran out of stock on the ninety dollar one. On the, so you have to buy the hundred. It's a money grab. It's all a money grab. It's just ridiculous. I mean, I, you gotta love college. It's yeah. great for the economy, right? You're you're you know you're paying all those billionaires so they can make jobs. <laughs> And, like, yeah, we chose this. I mean, we chose going to college and doing the extra thing. But trust me, if there was another way I could become a psychologist and not have to go through this step, like, I would definitely do something else. Oh or, like, God. if I didn't have to go through all the unnecessary steps to get to my major courses, then I would not do it, you know? There's, we'll, we'll finish where's it the on that, yes. Where's the relevance, you know? I think that that's the problem. But shout out to those guys that are grinding at college because I know there's a lot of us out the there university. That are at the university really working hard. And, you know, and, like, I hope that that success, if it's not in the – I hope that the working hard, the working ethic can translate into the future so then people can realize how much money you're worth, like how much your career and your work is worth. Does that make sense? I hope so. Yeah. um, I don't know. I I actually had that question. I wanted to finish it on Mm -hmm. this question. But the system is corrupt because if there was a person – who studied for, let's say, six years, um, had the experience because he had mock, let's say, a doctor. I want to say, because I was a doctor. I wanted to be a doctor, but I, I don't want to go through the med school, through all the... the I feel that. The, the hoops, you know. Oh, you have to have a 4.0, perfect stat, SAT or SAT scores, and then you have to volunteer 100,000 hours, and then you can qualify. And then you can qualify if, for med If there's enough room. If your MCAT score is high enough. And and, oh, yeah. And, yeah, and if and it's your perfect. grades are good. Because you're competing like, with people who have perfect score, score. 4.0, perfect SAT, and perfect M- M- um, MCAT. And, like, to be fair, you're being a doctor, so that makes sense. That's good. That's but, good. But what, but I'm, trying to, what I'm trying to ask sheesh. is if I went through all the rigor- rigorous training, and I actually have this – um, virtual reality thing where I can do a mock surgery and I have 5,000 hours of freaking surgery practice and I do that, but I never went through med school. Could I get a job as a doctor? No. I highly doubt it. And why is that? Because the education... Thing what is happens if I didn't have enough money to go to college and I didn't want to pay through the loans and I didn't want to go through that? Then you can't be a doctor. But on the world, see, that's, I think, in, in that. It's because the education portion of, like, things like being a doctor and being a psychologist and being a scientist is valuable in some sense. Like, you have to go through, like, I get it. I get why you have to go through college with those, like, especially STEM because those are things that you can't, yeah, like, but you have happen- to know. But what happens if you know? Then I don't know. You just didn't go through college. That's what I'm saying. But that's the thing. You can't teach yourself that information on the internet. Yeah, you can. No, just buy not, the same not well, textbook. Not well. Not mm, well. well. What happens if you took the same classes that every doctor is taking and then you test, test it on it and he would have the same score as the, the top 1% of the class? Okay, that's, that's not a realistic thing that would happen. But why you not? Can't, you can't teach yourself medical school on the internet. What happens if your dad's a doctor and he's teaching you? That's not the same thing at he's all. The, he's the head of that heart doesn't do surgery. Any, I don't know why that, that doesn't that, do anything, but it doesn't. It can give you experience and real-worldly experience. <laughs> but, but you, you have to go through the whole... You still have to go through the whole thing, which is unfortunate and stupid. It is, but that's how it is. Right, and guys, we can't really avoid it. On today's episode, we figured out the rat race that <laughs> college is... Really, really is. Not is, really is. That, okay, go to college. This is n- go to, go college. to college if you need to and you want to and or just read a book and then you could not talk like me read a book i'm foreign <laughs> guys you have to you have to hear my so think about <laughs> see um a different stand is being used that's why i'm suffering <laughs> can't wait to finish it no what i was gonna say what was i gonna say i don't know hmm. should we just end it here <laughs> on today's episode we learned about how college is the biggest rat race here in the United States. But you can still be successful going through the rat race if you work hard enough. What are the three things? Let's sum it up. I think the, the three the three things that I would tell anyone is go out there, get experience. Even if you don't want to go to college, it's fine because 
with sorry I'm talking fast with Taylor she wants to go to college and I appreciate that I really do but she went out there and got a job within that she found out well I don't want to work for anyone I yeah. hate it yeah okay what did she learn now she learns now her plan is opening up okay I'm gonna go to college get this degree and so work I can here, be the get boss. experience and then open up my own practice that's yeah see that's so awesome because if she you know if she worked if she didn't work then she would probably work for some crazy person and or not crazy just person in general mm-hmm. and then just totally hate it and then and then associated that with psychology man i chose the wrong career no yeah. she just she's mm-hmm. just her calling or the way she was um Meant her brain is wired all that stuff so uh, i think the biggest advice out of, out of these three is just going to be can that, getting that experience somewhere else because then you know Getting experience helps you understand exactly where you want to be. So then yeah. you're not just going to college and you're like, I'm not really sure what I want to do. I'm not really sure where I want to be, what I'm feeling, you know. Get experience. In, be an intern, you know. Be, go get a job somewhere, anything. Just get mm-hmm. experience and then you have that, you have more of a, like, narrow path. So you're not just going to college and you come out with a, a degree that you have no idea what you want to do with. Because then you're wasting a lot of money if you don't have a specific idea in mind. And I'm not saying you have to have it right away. Yeah. But it's still good to know kind of where you want to go with it. You know, that's what, that's the goal. My second uh, piece of advice is just don't go to college because you don't know what to do. (laughs) Yeah. Um, parties are free. Just, just knock on the door Mm -hmm. and bring your own booze. You don't have to pay $70,000 to, to a party. Plus you fail classes and that goes down the drain. And, um, and, and, um, what I think I I asked my friend, he's pre-med and I'm like, what happens if you don't know what to do and you kind of just decide to be a doctor, uh, but like at the same time, you are afraid to become a doctor or try to go onto that path because you might fail. You know, you might not make it with all those Asians. Mm-hmm. He's like, then you don't want to be a doctor. It's that simple. If you're afraid to fail, you have to have a passion. You ha- yes, I think that's what I'm trying to say. Is you have to have that. You have passion. to have that passion that fuels that gets bigger than the fear because I'm uh, I'm scared. <laughs> But I'm passionate and I'm determined. So. You hear that, guys? That's a confession. Anyways, I think we should end it there. Do you have anything else that you wanted to say? I was thinking of the third one to you. Oh, yeah. The third one? Yeah. Um. Wait, do you have one? Because I'm not going to give you if you don't have one. I, I think a takeaway that I was thinking is try your best because even if you're – struggling like with this whole idea of what college is supposed to be like and how you should do it just try you know if you're in it and you really hate it if you hate your life no no that's different work ethic and passion is very different because you can be passionate and then just not do anything that doesn't really usually go together but you can having that worth work ethic will get you results not only in college but in your life so in your career so knowing where you want to go having the the determination to get there and then having the determination to fight for yourself when you are there is what's important. I hope that made sense. And the fourth piece of advice, you guys, (laughs) is is learn the system. You are in the system. You are in a rat race. So learn. Learn that at $80,000 versus at $75,000, you're paying an extra 5% in taxes. That's just an example. I don't really know that is true. Uh, the but there's system. a lot of tax bra- brackets, you know, ask, maybe ask your employer, can I get paid less? You'll probably pay less in taxes, AKA make more money, stuff like that. Super simple. It goes with the same thing about l- not learning is you dying to yeah. learn. So learn. You're in the system. Learn whichever way you, you can. You are, you are getting college to go buy a mansion and, and have sex with prostitutes or you're doing it for your family, which I prefer you probably do it for your family. But <laughs> if you want to have sex with prostitutes, do it. <laughs> Don't do it. But I'm not going to stop you is what I'm saying. Maybe I will. I'll pray for you. (laughs) But guys, learn the system. Don't stop learning. We love you guys. (laughs) We love you guys. Thanks for listening. Have a good night. (laughs) It's morning. It's morning.